Hello and welcome to this tutorial to understand the task tracking feature available beginning with JD Edwards Enterprise One release 24. Today's enterprise is a busy place with non-stop activity at every corner of the business. The metabolism of an enterprise revolves around the definition and completion of business critical activities. Sometimes these activities are captured in application transactions such as creating purchase orders, work orders or project activities. Other activities are task-based, such as approvals, human workflow, or non-transactional tasks. JD Edwards Enterprise One provides several frameworks for defining and managing such tasks, among which are orchestrator messages and notifications. The task tracking feature enables you to set due dates for tasks that are assigned to recipients through orchestration and notification messages. Recipients can record the status of their assignments, which then allows you to monitor the progress of the tasks and perform historical analysis. In this tutorial, we will learn how to create a notification with action links to ask recipients to verify their home address. Add task tracking links that allow the recipients to record the status of the task. And then we will review the status of the task using the task tracking application. In this tutorial, we will use a notification to send a message with tasks and the task tracking links to recipients. This capability is also available using an orchestration message step instead of a notification. The process is essentially the same. Let's get started. First, let's sign into the Orchestrator Studio and create a new notification. Let's enter the name of this notification as Verify Home Address. Make sure that the value symbol is selected in the type drop-down list. Expand the message section and here enter please verify your home address. Now let's expand the action section. Click add and enter the application ID as address book. And click apply. Enter P01012 as application and select work with address form. Let's select this version and enter the link text as verify my home address. Click the task tracking icon and enable the track task option. We will now configure task tracking in this window. Enable the track by subscriber option. Enabling this option will create a discrete task to be tracked for each subscriber. Enter the description as Verify Home Address. Here we can see the options for configuring a due date rule. The task tracking framework will record this date as part of the task, enabling you to analyze and report statistics about the task. For example, if the task was completed before or after the due date. You can select the no due date option if you do not want to set up a due date for task tracking. And select the use date rule to define a custom date rule. Or you can select the use date variable to enter variable as a value. For this tutorial, let's select the use date rule. Here, let's use the default value of three days for due date rule. The system will assign a due date for this task that is three days from the day that the notification is sent. Leave the Allow Due Date Override option disabled. When enabled, this option allows the recipient to change the due date. Here, in the Tracking Link Options section, you can select No Link if you do not want to provide any links in the message. The message recipient can use the Task Tracking application to update their tasks. The Link to Task Tracking option enables you to update the state of the task by adding a single application link to the Edit Task Tracking application. The link for each state option enables you to add multiple action links in the message. Note that the task tracking framework provides a pre-configured set of common states. You can add your own custom states, for example, pending, by adding values to the user-defined code table H981TT. For this tutorial, let's select the link for each state option. Select the in process and completed options. The system creates placeholder links for these states, which you can now include in the message body. Next, let's enter this text in the body of the message 
and then from the placeholder drop down list, select address book link. We can see that the system inserts the action link for the address book application that we created earlier in this tutorial. Next, let's add another line. If you are still verifying your home address, click here. And then from the placeholder drop down list, select address book in process link. The system now inserts a link with the text in process that allows the task recipient to set the status of this task to in process simply by clicking the link. Let's add another new line. When you have verified your home address, click here. And then from the placeholder drop down list, select address book completed link. The system inserts a link with the text completed that allows the task recipient to set the status of this task to completed simply by clicking the link. Here we can also check the preview of the message. Note that the editor enables you to apply many types of rich formatting to your message. For example, font styles, sizes and colors as well as adding tables and images. Feel free to experiment with these formatting features, but these are not necessary for this tutorial. Now let's understand how to subscribe to the notification we just created and send the notification. Let's access the Enterprise One web client using the same user ID that we used in the previous exercise and access the My Subscriptions window. Here, let's click Add Subscription. From the available notifications list, let's select the Verify Home Address notification that we created earlier. On the Configuration page, let's use the default values and verify that the Notification List option is enabled so that the notification is delivered to your notification list. Now, let's test the new notification. Enable the Dispatch Notifications option and click Execute. Access the JD Edwards Enterprise One web client and open the new notification. If you don't see any notifications listed, click the refresh icon. The Verify My Home Address link will launch the address book work with addresses form which we configured as a notification application link in Orchestrator Studio. Before clicking the in process or completed links, let's access the task tracking application to see the task we created and understand how the statuses are updated. Here we can see a record for the verify home address task. Notice the data that is collected for this task, such as the task tracking ID, task sent date, the task due date, and so on. Let's take a special note of the value in the task date field, sent. In this simplified example, a single record was created for the single subscriber. However, in a real scenario, a notification is likely to have multiple subscribers. Task tracking will generate a discrete record for each subscriber. Now let's return to the notification message and click the in process link. The system displays a window with the success message indicating that the status has been updated. Let's look into the task tracking application. We can now see that the task date field has changed to in process. Now let's click the completed link in the notification message. We can now notice that the record for the task has disappeared from the grid. That is because the default query for the grid is to show only the open tasks and the completed state indicates that the task is closed. Therefore, it is excluded from the grid. Deselect the open tasks option and we can now see the verify home address task with the task date value updated as completed. Let's select the verify home address task from the grid and click select. The task details and the task state tabs provide a wealth of data about the life cycle of this task. In this tutorial, we learned how to create a notification with action links, enable task tracking for that notification, provide links for recipients to change the state of the task as in process and completed, read the notification message and use the links to change the state of the task, use the task tracking application to review details about the task. 
This tutorial demonstrated a simple example of a single task being tracked for a single user. Imagine the volume and the value of the data you could collect using task tracking to monitor the various activities throughout your enterprise. For more information, see the JD Edwards Enterprise One Tools Orchestrator Guide and visit us online at learnjd.com. Thanks for watching.